Hi, my name is Wenhao Ren, and I'm here to represent the Four Leaf Clovers for our Climate Action Project. We are from Jericho High School, and our team consists of Chloe, Hanson, Ashwin, and most importantly, me. Through these past 30 days, we have experienced a multitude of changes. We have learned multiple aspects of the dangers our environment faces, such as random crops, the impact of biodiversity, how much everyday objects take on water, flaws in foods, plant-based diets, the wastefulness, the fashion industry, and most importantly, climate change. But that's not the only thing we learned. We have learned how to maintain a strict work ethic, how to work as a team, and most importantly, learning how to find our own voice. And because of Project Green, we want to say thanks. We want to say thanks to the staff of Turning Green for looking through thousands of submissions and for inspiring our generation to learn about the dangers of climate change. So let's get to the juicy stuff, our climate action project. Our climate action, action project is all about cutting down on energy usage and light bulbs for the replacement of incandescent lights with LEDs and CFLs. Incandescent light bulbs are inefficient, bad for environments and outdated. The energy used for lighting in the commercial and residential sectors in the United States is 216 billion kilowatts hours. And if every household in America changed one bulb to a CFL, we would save 5.6 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year. That's over $526 million a year in electric expenses, 56,168 million cubic feet of natural gas, or 629,213,483 liters of gasoline saved. Also, 90% of energy in incandescent light bulbs are lost as heat, and currently 1.5 billion incandescent light bulbs are still in use. So, why did we do this project? During day 18 of the energy challenge, we realized how much the waste of electricity and the use of energy can affect climate change, from leaving lights on to outdated appliances that devour energy unnecessarily. That wasted energy means more fossil fuels, leading to even more carbon greenhouse emissions, greenhouse gases being emitted, polluting our air and posing a threat to our lives. This project is quite feasible. Time and dedication is of course required, but in the end, we will have a lot of environmental, social, and economic personal benefits. So here's a very basic outline for our project. We are going to replace incandescent light bulbs or halogen light bulbs to either CFLs or LED lights which will cut down on energy usage, increase energy and efficiency. And we will do this by reaching out and changing light bulbs from personal households, our neighborhoods, my school, possibly the county, and then possibly out of the county into other places in the state. So what's so special about LEDs and CFLs? What's the difference? Well, for 60 watt traditional incandescent light bulbs, the annual cost and annual energy cost per light bulb is $4.80. And the lifetime is about a thousand hours. For 43 watt halogen incandescent light bulbs, we save about 25% from traditional light bulbs. Uh, the annual energy cost is around $3.50 and the lifetime is about 1,000 to 3,000 hours. For 15 watt CFL light bulbs, 25% of energy is saved from the, compared to the traditional incandescent light bulbs. $1.20 is how much the annual energy cost is and 10,000 hours is around the lifetime of the CFL light bulb. And the most efficient out of the four light bulbs, the 12 watt LED, the 75 to 80% of energy is saved through compared to the traditional incandescent light bulb. The annual energy cost is only $1 and the lifetime is 25,000 hours. So what's our plan? So far, it is, at, as a, it is a, at first, of course, to replace all lights at home with the more efficient lights. For example, with CFLs and LEDs. Then we will survey neighbors, asking them to observe their own lights and record which ones are inefficient or outdated. For distribute, according to the results of the survey, we will distribute lights, light replacements of the correct wattage and type to our neighbors. Expansion. We will reach out to town officials, organizations in our school about their energy use and lighting fixtures to see if they need changing. For further planning and more long-term goals, we will plan out our expansion of the project to other areas, perhaps low-income commute areas that cannot afford the relatively higher prices of the newer lights. So let me elaborate a little more on the neighborhood replacement. So firstly, we will need to determine the type of bulb needed in replacement. And secondly, we will coordinate to collect old bulbs for recycling and to simultaneously drop off new bulbs. Thirdly, we will leave instructions on how to replace the new bulbs. Our replacement goals so far are to replace within our homes. Then our next short-term goal is to expand toward the local neighborhood. 
We will formulate and administer our light bulb survey. And according to the information we have collected and, and interpreted, we'll, we will obtain the needed supplies and dispense them to the appropriate households. Next, our midterm goal, we will try to replace all the incandescent or outdated light bulbs within our school. For our long-term goal, we will try to expand to different towns within Oyster Bay and to Nassau County. For our stretch goal, we will try to expand to other towns within the state or nation. So let's discuss the challenges of feasibility. For the cost, we need fund sourcing, and we are thinking about talking with LED and CFL companies to have them give us the light bulbs for free or to sell them at it with a discount so it could help them with their brand image. Or we were also thinking about talking to different Best Buys and Home Depots at the end or start of their quarter since they most likely have money left over from funding. We were also thinking about starting a GoFundMe page or starting any other fundraisers within our community or school. Because of the pandemic, we will have limited contact, which will limit collaboration and effectiveness for a time being, but applications such as Zoom will help. For the organization, we will need to organize the coordination of resources and organize the light bulbs to the community. For time and dedication, we don't need to spend a huge amount of time and not a gigantic amount of effort will be needed. And we don't need a huge amount of time frame in order to see results. Our anticipated impacts. For economic, taxpayers will now be able to pay less money to energy bills and taxes. For environmental, reduction in energy production will reduce fossil fuel emissions. For societal, it will educate people to help them learn a more environmentally friendly, energy efficient, active life. For the expertise and skill set required, the background knowledge needed would be to know the workings of light bulbs, advantages and disadvantages of the types of light bulbs, and some experience in the energy sector. We will definitely need heavy organization and management for finances and distribute the light bulbs. For community outreach, we will need social skills and communication within the community. The permissions needed, the permissions needed. From the community, we need support, cooperation, installment information and collection. From the school, we will need permissions for LED installment in school. And from the county, we might need permissions for streetlight installments and for other for others for progressions onto the next steps. So that concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. And uh, here are some of our references. <laughs>